By the end of this video, you'll learn more about how anxiety and sex affect one another. If you stay with me until the end, I'll give you access to my favorite pleasure practice as a thank you just for watching. To continue this practice of self-care, hit subscribe and the bell to catch a new video every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm Amanda Pashuko, and I'm a certified sex therapist here to discuss how anxiety and sexuality affect one another and see if this is what's happening and getting in the way of your sexual pleasure. I've worked with anxiety for over 10 years and often it can be the culprit of a less than optimal sexual experience. So let's learn more about what I taught my clients and see if I can help you too. Part one, deciphering normal anxiety from sexual anxiety. Sexual anxiety can often range from mild nervousness about body image to full-blown anxiety attacks that stop people from having sex altogether. While most of us might be intimidated taking off our clothes during sex, some people state that the anxiety takes over and that ruins their entire experience. There you are exposing yourself with nowhere to hide. And some people are so afraid of letting their physical and emotional walls down that it prevents them from enjoying true intimacy. Instead, they're filled with sexual anxiety that can detract from the intimate experience. Part two, performance anxiety. A lot of people have anxiety issues around whether they'll be able to perform when called upon. Penises can be a bit unreliable, as can vaginas. If worrying about performance continues, it can turn into a serious mental block. For some people, whether they'll be able to maintain an erection enters their mind the minute there is an attraction to someone else. Like any anxiety attack, worries over performance build and build, and it's all this person can think about. People with penises also worry about premature ejaculation, but it's more common than you think. One out of three people with penises say they have dealt with premature ejaculation and they're dealing with it now or have in the past. When there's so much pressure on being able to please your partner, it's easy to see why someone who's had experience with sexual anxiety might feel performance anxiety. Part three, body image. While we hate to stereotype, generally speaking, consumerism makes its profit off of you feeling badly about yourself. And with the advent of the digital age, the ideal physique is communicated through a lot of different types of advertising, social media, television, and even porn. Often individuals struggle with sexual anxiety around the size and look of their genitals. Maybe your penis curves or has a slight bend. Maybe your clitoris or labia is too big for your liking. Perhaps you're concerned about the fact that you are or aren't circumcised or what your genitals smell like. Have you guys ever been embarrassed or shamed about your genitals or were you the person who did the shaming to someone else? Please share your comments below. I love to read them if you're willing to share. I would like to know how you feel about this very tender topic. Part four, lack of experience. This anxiety and sexual intersection applies to anyone who is seen as the person in charge. In many sexual encounters, one person believes that they ought to take the lead. And that might be okay if you've got a lot of sexual experience, but it also can trigger sexual anxiety for people who don't like that type of pressure. We're all worrying about something to varying degrees, especially reading sexual cues or being able to please our partner. And point five, let's reduce sexual anxiety. Before you leave, I wanna give you my favorite quick tips to actually reduce sex anxiety, although you ought to consider going to the description below where I will have more videos on just that. So my favorite techniques, breathing in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth, Focus more on your exhales than you do on your inhales. Masturbate with a condom on or use self-pleasure in different positions or with different lubes. You've probably gotten too used to one way of experiencing sensation and now's the perfect time to try a new way. Increase the use of sex toys with your partners or suggest the idea of using more lube or different types. 
and increase your understanding of you. This is important to take the pressure off anyone trying to make the other person have an orgasm. You're in charge of your own arousal and your partner is in charge of theirs. Don't force yourself to deliver an orgasm to your partner because that's too much pressure for anybody. I appreciate you staying with me till the end, so much so that I wanna make sure that you download the Pleasure Practice e-guide because it's of utmost importance in getting through this time. Scroll down to the description and you can find out exactly how to download it from the website. You can catch more of me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at The Sex Healer. If you liked this video, click like and the bell to subscribe. I release a new video Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you then, and thanks so much for watching.